Overnight, a spokesperson for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle saying the couple is being kicked out of their Windsor home. Telling NBC News, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been requested to vacate their residence at Frogmore Cottage. The cottage, owned by the Crown Estate and just minutes from Windsor Castle, was a gift to the couple from Queen Elizabeth. It's been their official residence in the UK since the birth of their son, Archie. They talked about it in their recent Netflix docuseries. It was a place where we had so many memories. From our courtship, our engagement, our wedding, our walks. And then where we ended up, you know, having our baby. The eviction coming after the couple was critical of the royal family in that Netflix series and in Prince Harry's explosive memoir, Spare. It's a dirty game. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. The message that the king has sent by taking Frogmore Cottage away from them is you, Harry and Meghan, have made it very clear that you see your future in the United States. You've made your bed and you can lie in it, and I am not going to provide you with a bed, courtesy of the royal family in the United Kingdom. The couple were heavily criticized after spending a reported $3.2 million of taxpayer money renovating the country estate before moving in, later repaying those costs after stepping down as senior royals, but hoping to hold on to the property. Frogmore Cottage is a very private, very secure house on an estate where Harry and Meghan's privacy was never intruded upon. So in some ways, not having that in the United Kingdom will be a wrench for them. Harry and Meghan, who are now raising son Archie and daughter Lilibet in California, renewed a long-term lease for Frogmore Cottage in 2020, staying there last year while in the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and throwing a birthday party for Archie. Now that home away from home, no longer an option. Kelly, this news comes ahead of Charles's coronation in May. How might this impact Harry and Meghan attending? Well, they are expected to get an invitation, although there's no confirmation that that's been received yet. And from a practical standpoint, there are other places they can stay, other secure places, other royal residences like Windsor Castle, Kensington Palace, even here at Buckingham Palace. But from an emotional standpoint, it's quite different. Prince Harry, you'll remember, said that the door was open to mending fences, that the, the ball was in his family's court. This latest decision likely caused some real hurt feelings once again. So it doesn't seem that there's any sign reconciliation is coming anytime soon. I have to mention, we did reach out to Buckingham Palace on this story. They said they wouldn't be commenting. Chanel. All right. Kelly, thank you. The wow. royal rift appears to be I know. widening we, even more. We were just talking, uh, you know, the book Spare. Mm -hmm. It's a different take when you listen to it. I've been listening to it. I on Audible. Bit, and, and when you uh, hear Harry's voice. Yeah. So I think, yeah, the healing is going to take some time. Yes, That's for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.